Assalamu alaikum, good evening, namaskar, sasriyakal. Welcome to all of you to another episode of Cricket Unplugged. With the Asia Cup starting today, rather the qualifier starting today, we have two stars who are with us in the show. One is Khurram Khan. Khurram Khan has played for the men's uh, UA cricket team. And then we have Charvi Bhatt, who has also captained the women's UA team. So discuss about UA, how they are going to go about their campaign in this Asia Cup. Welcome to both of you guys. Welcome, Khurram, first. Thank you. Nice to be in the show. Thank you, Anis Bhai. Welcome, Charvi. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, yet again, uh, an absolute pre pleasure to be here with you. Well, the pleasure is all mine, you know, having two captains of UAE team and uh, you'll have done so well for your teams in your days. So let me come to you, Khurram. You know, this Asia Cup, this is a golden opportunity for UAE before the big World Cup where they've already qualified. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Yes, uh, Anis Bhai, I think it's a wonderful opportunity because uh, if they manage to win the you know, the first uh, part of this tournament, they'll be, you know, locking their horns with the giants of international cricket, uh, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka. So I think it's a wonderful opportunity. Recent past teams been doing well. So I think we can keep our fingers crossed. There are chances definitely that they can qualify and play the big teams. Charvi, let me come to you. You know, there are four teams who are going to lock horns against each other to then, you know, go ahead and clash with the big boys. That is... Hong Kong, Singapore, Kuwait, and our UAE team. How do you see UAE team when you compare yourself to the Hong Kong, Singapore, and Kuwait team? Um, to be very honest, I won't be uh, sugarcoating this, but as, as directly as I can say this, and I think Kuram will agree with me as well, that I think UAE has got big chances. They, and they've got a very, very good chance to make it to the next level. Um, you know, it's all about in that moment, making sure that they grab that opportunity and on that particular day that they play their best on all the games on all their games uh, game days that they're going to be playing in because um UAE team in the recent past has done exceptionally well the amount of exposure that they have gotten also with the foreign tours will have uh, they will have their chips up uh, on their shoulders um, so hoping to see at their best uh, in all their games all right uh... Charvi says UAE team has been doing well off late, but uh, I want to ask Kurram in the last trip, recent trip now to you, you know, where they lost to Scotland and USA, they couldn't win a single game. And in the earlier, they won two out of four. So even though that was a 50 over game, will that be at the back of the mind, Kurram? I think I'll, you have to say, yeah, these losses, you know, they're always back of your mind because you recently concluded this 50 over tournament. Uh, conditions always, you know, in Scotland, they're not that easy. I would have suggested them to be there a little earlier, you know, at least play two, three side games before they get into these main games. Because now that uh, WCL is very important where UAE team is currently positions, I think it's going to be uh, uh, quite tough to qualify. Obviously, it's it's not that they cannot, but it's now three or four teams which going to be on the same point level. I can see Namibia, I can see USA, UAE. I think they'll be locking horns to qualify for the one or two positions for the WCL. Coming back to Asia Cup, obviously, it's a 20 over format. It's completely different. And if you see recent past, so I think you've been doing very well. There are some, you know, uh, players who've been exceptionally well. I would say Vritya, I would say Wasim, you know, batting. So it looks uh, a great team. And we recently have a change of captain as well. So his Bon CP is leading the team. So let's hope, you know, it's going to be a good change. And let's see the results, yeah. Charvi, have you seen CP Rizwan playing or have you followed his cricket? Multiple times. Uh, over the years, yes, in the domestic league, covered a lot of games uh, uh, over live st streaming while he was representing, uh, you know, the domestic sides. So, seen him play for over the years and I think um, this is going to be a great platform for him as well and a testing one to that. Uh, to see how he's going to showcase himself as personally with his skill also, as a captain, how he's going to lead the side. So, it's going to be time will tell how he's going to do. But hoping that, um, you know, both the tags that he's got on his shoulder, they bring back a good result for the side. All right. Uh, Charvi says uh, CP Rizwan uh, should be able to do the job. But uh, Kuram, I want to come to you. You know, under uh, the earlier captain, Raza, Ahmed Raza, they had qualified for the World Cup in Oman, where they beat everybody almost there. They beat 
I remember the big team Ireland and they beat Oman. They beat almost everybody. Bearing one game, I think they lost. And now the sudden change in captainship, even though uh, we are just near the World Cup, right call made by the management? I think uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's a little uh, question mark here because uh, if you see Ahmed Rizal's result in T20 formats, I think what I was checking, he's played 27, 118. So this is not a bad result at all. It's been very good. And they have removed him uh, from captaincy from T20 version. Although the team just came back from Scotland, not doing very well. So I think I, I'm kind of mixed up. I don't know why it happened. Uh, you know, uh, the change is that the performance UA just came back was 50 over. And then they retain him as a captain for 50 over, but they replaced him for 20 over format. Uh, I don't want to go into blame game, but I think there are a few things you need to sort out because team are currently, if you see that they are kind of stagnant in the position, you don't see them going up. You see, you know, performance for a short period of time, a month or so, or 15 days, you see they suddenly start playing good cricket and then, you know, it's just uh, coming back. So I think there are a few things need to be fixed there. But Chavi, you have been playing cricket for the women's team. You have been a captain. Imagine uh, if you or anybody as a captain who's been replaced just because uh, before a mega event. Rather, the World Cup is the mega event, but the Asia Cup happening at your home. And like Kuram mentioned, he's won 18 out of 27 games. So I think I've lost your audio. Can okay, you, I'll can repeat you again. To, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. repeat to my uh, question, uh, Charvi. Yeah. Uh, can yeah. you hear me now? Yes, loud and clear. Okay. Like Kuram mentioned about Ahmed Raza's uh, record, 27 games, 18 wins. And with the Mega Event World Cup just happening in two months' time and the Asia Cup just happening in a few days' time, you're replacing the captain, giving the right signal? Maybe not, to be very honest. And I agree with Kuram, but, um, because we both have been in similar situations where, you know, the switch instantly happens be before a major tournament. Um, okay. It's not justified. Rather, you ask me, <laughs> we would rather stick to the same, have some consistency. You know, teams win with consistency, not with switches like such big ones. What I fear that point, here, uh, that 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 point. Yeah, Go ahead, Kuram. Go captain, ahead, Kuram. Yeah, I think more than his captaincy, probably what I think, okay, I could be wrong, that his position could be, you know, uh, in under T20. That could be maybe, you know, a question for voter. That's why I think they took that decision. Now, since he's now captain, it's probably be easier to, you know, play a left-arm spinner where they should be representing all the matches or not. So, I, I think they're coming from that point of view. So, let's all see. Right. So, Kuram says probably maybe they are not sure about whether he can guarantee a place for himself in the squad. They were placed uh, Rizwan. Now, tell us more about Rizwan, uh, Kuram. You know him more closer than anybody else. I've seen him domestic. I think he's a wonderful batsman. He's a beautiful classic, uh, you know, batsman, what I have seen uh, over the years from him. And he's, uh, although we have seen him bowling in tandem very, not regularly, but he, he's, he's a useful bowler. I've seen him uh, bowling sometime and he always takes wickets. So, but what's uh, currently and what's recent past, if you go, I've seen is that uh, these bowlers, like Basil is bowling and then uh, CP is bowling. So they are bowling one or two overs in a T20 match. So if, you have two batsmen who can bowl two over each, you know, if they're bowling one or two sometimes. So why can't they bowl two over each? And then you you have a place for a batsman to be included in the team. I, I, I personally think that's how the board is looking at the team currently now. So if they exclude one of the spinners, they can add another batsman, another all-rounder in the team. You know, obviously, Ahmadis are mainly a left-arm orthodox. So they can put a more batting dominant uh, player in the team. All right. Uh... Uh, Charvi, you know, we discussed about it that off late their 50 hour performance was not up to the mark. Uh, as much as I would love to discuss about the 50 hour, but I still want to uh, go on to the 20 hour cricket. UA's record in T20 has not been bad. I mean, I'll be very honest, uh, compared to the teams which has been, you know, playing like the Omans and all, UA has been doing fairly well. Uh, and at this, that is one format which they love to play, if I'm not wrong. So if you had to, you know, pick a few guys who you feel will be the guys who would be your players to watch out from UAE. Um, to be very honest, I'd pick two. One, Vritya, for sure. And um, the other would be Sultan. 
it would be one of those two two of those who would be look out you know to look out for Vritya's form we've seen over a period of time uh, a very very promising youngster he's not um, yes he's got a few performances where he's not done very well but at the same time he's also uh, he hasn't failed to impress there have been times when he's really impressed he's gone out there stood out there for his side gotten those runs and you know taken taken the team to the other end but uh, just with his own ability so obviously we do know what he could what he is capable of and sultan would be another player that i would be looking at um, you know because of the experience that he comes along with all right uh, kurum i know about vritya that is a one down batsman and he's done recently well on and off he's had poor scores but tell us more about sultan ahmed uh sultan mainly i think is is included uh, in the team what i think is for his left arm spin obviously you know he's a, he, he can hit uh, few balls as well he can score some runs as well but mainly it's bowling you know it's a, he's a, if you see at uh, ahmed raza let's say is com- compare so for t20 version i think sultan is uh, has played you know he's been represented psl is within all the leagues in uae so he's very seasoned player and left arm left spinner again but uh, he doesn't only spin the ball you know he's got a good straight of one he, i think it's probably more useful in shorter version that's why they have included him another player as i think shavi mentioned uh, vritya once yeah that he's he's great but i think uh, wasim ahmed in t20 wasim is very important uh, he's you know two players who can uh, win the games for ua that's how i look at it i think wasim and well, wasim you were talking about mohammed wasim is the guy who scored the 100 in the finals against ireland right yeah Uh, so apart already... from Vritya, Wasim, anybody else in the batting order, Kuram, you see them, uh, you know, doing well. Uh... I think batting order. If you look at now, I think it looks. Uh, uh, let's say the middle order is quite strong. But recent, I would say, since they haven't performed very well in Scotland. Uh, but again, it, going back that it's a 50-over version and it's completely different uh, conditions. Now they'll be Oman and UAE. I think it's similar condition, so they'll be playing back here and they played a lot of cricket in Oman. So I would say, you know, captain CP Rizwan uh, again. I think he probably be changing his number since he's captain now. <laughs> and Basil is there another middle order. Chirag Suri, I think a wonderful pair, and I think it's time that he needs to, you know, uh, stand up and do again very well. He recently. Uh, in scotland he didn't do that well as i would have expected him to do so hopefully this tournament i think it's uh, uh, for him another chance to prove himself char we uh, like kurra mention about a few players and i just recently interviewed sikandar raza who was in the form of his life in his recent matches against bangladesh as well as the qualifiers for the world cup he mentioned a very important point that if you are able to play red ball cricket then you can do well in the white ball cricket you also added that if you play 50 overs cricket well you can do well in a 20 over cricket so what is wrong with the uae cricket team that they are not able to consistently do well in 50 overs cricket um perhaps it's the lack of 50 over games that they play across through the year okay i think kuram agrees it's the lack of you know you tend to play shorter formats and now i will not blame this to a certain system but i would say that it could be because of weather conditions our cr- cricket friendly months across the year in the uae are very short mostly people enjoy t20 cricket people prefer playing t20 cricket um uae team men side in particular they don't play a lot of 50 over cricket and hence their performance being the way that it is in 50 over games um however the upcoming what they have is t20 and uh, hopefully we would be able to see them in a much better stature but uh, you know this is a message that goes out to say give them more experience with 50 over cricket they need to know how to spend those 4 5 hours out there in the field they need to know how how much resilience they need to show with the 50 over game so hence i think it's the lack of uh, games that they're given to them and you know that's that's a clear indication of why kuram three teams singapore hong kong and kuwait tougher team out of you or the lot uh i think hong hong kong if you keep the records they they are the best of this lot you know singapore uh, last five games they played they lost and uh, i don't think uh, kuwait will have a different result as well so hong kong is the team i think uh, they have good players but recent past honestly hong kong has not been doing very well so i think a very fair chance for uae to just uh, you know sweep through here and uh, go for the next round 
Charvi, according to you, uh, Purum says it's going to be Hong Kong. I will back his answer as well. I think Hong Kong is the the top side in this in this particular group. And uh, even though they have not been doing very well, they are a good side. They've qualified for the next level. I think a couple of times they have. Uh, they have gone and played um, Asia Cup, uh, you know, maybe twice, if I'm not mistaken, in, in the past. So they would, um, you know, if they've got some players from that squad, the experience will play for them. And uh, no matter, you know, how much we say how skillful a player is or how talented a player is, at the end of the day, in tough situations, it's experience that pulls you out of that and takes you to the other side. So um, Hong Kong is definitely the tough one. However, we would want, you know, uh, UAE does have a lot of chances to make it. And we would hope to see that, you know, our flag does come down and, you know, it's up there in the stadiums in UAE when the Asia Cup gets played. Uh, both of them say Hong Kong is the tough team which uh, UAE will probably face in Oman. And mind you, the last game of that league uh, qualifiers is against Hong Kong. So imagine Hong Kong winning two games, UAE winning two games. So it's as good as a final uh, to qualify for the Asia Cup, Kuram. Yeah, I think. But, uh, you know, taken into that, the uh, UAE has been a seasoned cricket. They've been playing very well. And this patch of cricketers, you, you don't see, you know, only one or two newcomers. And the newcomers are, if you say, Aryan Lakra, I mean, he's now new. Uh, he's been in the system from under 14, under 16, 19. And then now in the national team, same thing with the uh, under 19 captain. And uh, Fahad is there as well. So I think it's quite seasoned. And the rest of the players, they've been playing for at least 10 years in UAE. So I think these matches you play day in, day out. So. One or two pressure games, you know, it's uh, not much. But I think the way they are performing in T20, they have to keep their performances up and they have to, you know, show that they are good enough to play this uh, Asia Cup. Charvi, the last match against Hong Kong, as I believe it should be without taking anything away from Kuwait and Singapore. And we hope UAE will do well. Uh, you're banking UAE to beat them? Hands down, yes. Uh, you know, always in support of the side that you've represented. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing the boys do really well out there. And um, yes, it's. I think it's going to be a UAE Hong Kong final. The last game is with Hong Kong, so it's going to be like a final. Hoping that UAE would have two wins before that. Um, and uh, you know, it'll be the battle between the two to see who's going to come through. But backing them, yes, definitely. All uh, you know, all our best wishes to the boys. So, all right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we have these two stars of UAE cricket, Kurram Khan as well as Charvi Butt, both captains of their respective men's and women's team. And they are backing UAE and they hope and they're confident that UAE is going to get past Hong Kong, Kuwait and Singapore and make it to the Asia Cup, which is happening in UAE. And mind you, both of these stars are going to be with us throughout this Asia Cup, which is going to happen once the big boys and the qualifiers uh, are done. So we hope to catch you guys once again. Thank you very much for your time and looking forward to, you know, uh, seeing you soon. Thank Thanks. you, sir. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.